Hey everyone! I have not really talked about outfit physics in these tutorials so far, but I figured I should make a quick video on the topic. This won't be a hands-on tutorial yet. We'll cover physics in more detail later. But it's important to highlight a few key differences that you might find between static outfit NIFs and physics outfit NIFs in case you run across these during your work. There are currently two types of body and outfit physics that you can have in Skyrim. First, there is CBPC collision physics, which provides jiggling for naked bodies and can also provide jiggle on the outfits made for those bouncing bodies. For this to work, you need the CBPC physics mod, a CBPC physics body and or outfit mod, such as CBBE 3BA or BHUNP, You'll also need the XPM SSE Skeleton and either Finis or Nemesis. The second type of physics you can have is SMP or Skinned Mesh Physics. For this, you need an HDT SMP mod like Faster HDT SMP. And just like with CBPC, you also need the XPM SSE Skeleton and Finis or Nemesis. SMP can provide body part movement, but is mostly used to move cloaks, hair, skirts, and other outfit parts that swish and sway differently than the body itself. You can have both types of physics installed and running in Skyrim at the same time, and they do not conflict with each other. Body physics, usually controlled by CBPC, come from the body mod itself and they can be transferred to outfits so you get matching jiggles, like 3BA outfit conversions, for example. Physics on cloaks, skirts, and such, controlled by SMP, come from the outfit mod, not the body mod, and they work independently of the body mod physics. So you can have a static body mod but still get swishy clothes if you install the SMP version of an outfit and its SMP requirements. And a single body or outfit can use both types of physics at the same time, such as using the body mod CBPC physics for boob and butt jiggle and separate SMP physics for parts like skirts and cloaks. And now is a good time to remind you again that you should not install any physics enabled bodies or outfits, either SMP or CBPC, if you do not already have the required physics mods that go along with them. Doing so will crash your game, if the game even starts at all. In terms of the NIFs for physics-enabled outfits, CBPC-based things seem to be pretty invisible when you look at the outfit and NIF scope. There are some extra bones for controlling the jiggle, and there may be some extra meshes for internal body parts, which are there to support sex mods. But there probably won't be extra nodes or weird looking things in the viewport. For SMP, however, there are usually some pretty obvious signs in the NIF that something is different. For example, when you open an SMP outfit in NIF scope, you may see white body parts or an entire white body on top of the real one and there will probably be a white platform on the ground. These white things are called collision meshes or collision bodies, and they're required so that your moving parts like boobs and swishy outfit pieces do not fly inside the body or into the ground when they move around. Wherever you have jiggle or movement in an SMP outfit, you'll probably, but not always, have an extra white thing to help keep stuff in place. And most outfits will also have a white ground mesh, even for parts that do not reach the ground while you are standing. This is so things don't disappear into the ground when you fall or lay down or otherwise put yourself close to Nern. But don't worry, these white thingies will be invisible in your game. You shouldn't even notice they are there, except when looking at your outfit in NIFScope, in Outfit Studio, or in Body Slide. And they might be set to be invisible there, too, so it's possible that you won't always see them. Another thing your SMP outfits will have are extra bones, 
and potentially a lot of them. Especially for clothing like capes and skirts, quite a few bones are needed to achieve realistic looking movement. The last thing I want to note about SMP NIFs is that they will have an extra node either listed here at the top in NIF scope or possibly nested down below for whichever meshes have physics. This is a nice string extra data node and it points to an XML file within the outfit mods folders that lays out all the details about how the bones and movement should work. This node in NIFScope and this XML file in the mod are both required for an SMP outfit to move. In fact, if you want to remove the movement from an outfit to make it static, one way is to just remove this node in NIFScope. But that's not the only thing you would need to consider, so don't go running off to edit all your NIFs just yet. We'll talk more about this later. If you want to remove physics from some areas but leave it in other areas, such as removing boob jiggle but keeping butt jiggle, then you can remove the relevant physics bones from the mesh in Outfit Studio, whether it's a CBPC bone or an SMP bone. Just note that you will then need to weight those vertices back to the static bones in that area so that you don't end up with any unweighted parts of your mesh. And that's all I'm going to cover in this quick FYI video. Body and outfit physics can be kind of complicated, so when we get there later in the series, we will start at the beginning and go slow so that I don't contribute to breaking your game. I hope that you found this to be a useful intro to outfit physics. At least now you'll know why those white thingies are there in your SMP NIFs, and that they need to be there. I promise we will cover physics in more detail once we get through more of the cool stuff that Outfit Studio can do. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon for the next tutorial. Bye!